I can't even begin to tell you the number of times I've been asked by photographers, when do I need to use a tripod and when can I handhold my camera? So it's a great question and really the determining factor right here is shutter speed. Now before I talk about what kind of the perfect shutter speed should be, where that threshold should be of when you go to tripod versus handheld, let me just first say something about handheld. Handheld photos are great because they give you flexibility and speed. With a tripod, there's definitely a time and place where you're going to need to use a tripod or your photo will not come out sharp. But with handheld, you don't need the time to set up on the tripod. You can track moving subjects like birds in flight, running wildlife, cars driving down the road, street photography, or even a fashion portrait style of photo shoot. Handheld is the way to go because you have that quick flexibility you'll be able to take more photos in the same period of time. You'll be able to switch up the composition faster when you're handheld. So handheld is the way to go in those scenarios. But when should you use a tripod? When do you need it? And the determining factor nine times out of 10 is shutter speed. So the slower your shutter speed is, the more likely you are going to need the tripod and the faster your shutter speed is, uh, the less you need a tripod. But where is the cutoff point? At what shutter speed do you need to be thinking about, okay, I need a tripod for this? Now, every lens is different. The wider angle lens you use, you can get away with a slower shutter speed. But the more zoom you're using, then you are going to need a faster shutter speed in order to handhold your photos. So is there kind of one shutter speed number that I use? Yes, there is. Pretty well, when I'm using an average length of lens, not a big long zoom lens, but just an average one, like let's just say somewhere in the 70 millimeters range, then one two hundredth of a second is my cutoff point. So right here, it's one over 200. And I know that there are definitely people who will say, oh, I do handholding at much slower shutter speeds than that. Well, here's the thing. With the cameras from five years ago, we were able to get away with a slower shutter speed, but cameras today have much bigger sensors with a much higher pixel count. And the bigger the sensor, the more detail is captured and the more you cannot get away with a slow shutter speed and a handheld photo. So general rule of thumb for me is when I have a photo that I'm taking with a shutter speed below one two hundredth of a second, if I want a tack sharp photo, which I do, then when I get slower than that, I'm using a tripod. And if I'm using a long zoom lens, then this value will be even higher. Now, if you want to know a lot more about how to get a tack sharp photo, there's so much more to it than just what I've talked about here. And really getting a tack sharp photo, it is that combination of knowing how to choose the perfect focus point, the perfect focus mode and focus area, and the appropriate shutter speed all at the same time. It's the ability to do a whole bunch of little things right. And when they're all done right, you're going to get an absolutely tack sharp photo. So you're going to want to check out the tack sharp photography course. It is a fantastic course. It is the result of years and years and years of battle tested techniques that I have used by trial and error in the field. And I think you are going to love it. It's going to help you get tack sharp photos.